Gary Sanchez is going to be the man with the bat this time at a couple times. Strikeout looking in the fourth. And a ground out into a 6 2 in the sixth. Well, you talked about a hammer to the face. Gary Sanchez just about got smoked. Wow. By Celestino. Yeah. That is scary. That would have made for a very bad road trip. You get a face burger there, especially with a weighted bat. I, well. That happened to Jim Tracy. I think he was coaching in Montreal and uh, one of his players was swinging a bat in the clubhouse. Wow. Gotta really be careful. So first and third two down. And a strike. I mean, your screen. Yeah, this doesn't miss by much. Yikes. Right before Celestino, or before Sanchez came to the plate. Yee. Whoa. They probably don't want to walk in front of a guy when he's swinging a bat. <laughs> One strike. I mean, your screen. Yeah, this doesn't miss by much. Yikes. I'm surprised Gordon's not going. Pitch. Well, apparently there's some difficulty with pitch count. And Ethan Katz is going out to deliver another pitch com. I wonder if those will be stocking stuffers for Ethan and his pitchers this Christmas. <laughs> Kendall wants to see if that one works. One strike on Sanchez. Everybody back on the infield. Abreu is holding the runner at first. Oh, and it gets past. And Kepler will score. Three to one. They're ruling this a wild pitch. It's one that Sebi should have caught. Twins get that run right back after the Sox scored in the seventh. And now Gordon in scoring position. Two and one. Make it two and two. And a pitch come doesn't work, so go back to the finger signal. <laughs> he keeps on pressing the buttons and Kendall keeps on going. I can't hear you. Swing and miss strike three. The Twins do get a run on a wild pitch. It's 3 1 as we head to the bottom of the eighth. 